All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Why is my uh, camera so big, man? I gotta do that like this. All right, so um, in this video, as you can see from the title, right, you can uh, already kind of figure out what, what did I do here? Did I do something else with my screen? I don't know. Like, usually it's always very well set up, but I guess now I don't know what I did. Um, anyways, I'm just gonna keep it the way it is. Oh no, that that is actually annoying me. You know, it's like it's like a small version of OCD. Like it has to be perfect. Do you guys know this? I don't know. Whatever. I have to keep it this way now. Otherwise, this is gonna take uh, way too long. So let's bring it down. Let's keep it in together, and um, yeah, let's get right to it. So uh, we're gonna be talking about a very sure deck uh, in Hella. So it's kind of the beginner version of Hella where you don't have to really, I mean, yeah, there's some uh, technique to it and there are things and combos that you can do that are certainly going to help you. Um, it is, uh, although I do call it a beginner's uh, deck, I do believe that you do kind of need quite a few pool three cards for it. So um, I'm calling this Hella's Wrath and I'm going to show you uh, the deck right now. We're going to go over it real quick, do a few games so I can show you how it works. And you can see that there is a lot of pool three in it. So it's not beginner in the ver in the sense of having no cards or like a budget deck or anything. This is more like a beginner deck because um, even though when you might discard Hella, you know, because these things can happen, um, you still have uh, probably a very strong apocalypse that you can throw down. Like my apocalypse has mostly been like between, an, I don't know, like 20 or something, 20 power. So in case Hella is not going to work, you still have power that you can put on the board. So we start off with Mobius. Mobius is good in any kind. Kind of discard deck because every time you discard a card uh, he's gonna gain uh, plus two power then we have invisible woman so we can literally uh, stack lady Sif we can stack sword master and Wong uh, under it uh, so uh, you know you can do some nice combos right at the end or maybe just Wong and uh, you know gambit and I don't know you can do many different combos so your opponent is not initially gonna see it so my experience with this deck was when I played Wong uh, especially when you have a, a location like Onslaught Citadel and you're gonna play Gambit you're gonna destroy your entire opponent's deck you're gonna like destroy four cards on the board or something or even more you know so it depends on the combos that you have uh, but right now um, I noticed that many people they left the game uh, very early so this is definitely a late turn play so you can play invisible woman you can play Wong you can play gambit and maybe something else if you have the power to do so um, you know if you discard Hella you can still uh, throw in the ghost rider you know you can throw him in there he's gonna drag him out from hell back onto the board um, we have lady Ziff here so she's going to either discard Hella or apocalypse depends on who you have in your hand so you have to kind of be careful if you have both in your hand uh, you kind of have to see what kind of play style you want to go for. I mean, you could literally discard um, Hella, bring it back with Ghost Rider, and then you play uh, Apocalypse. You know, it's possible. All of these um, things are possible. If, of course, uh, Apocalypse is going to get wrecked, you can, um, you know, uh, that's also really good because you can have a, a play here with Dracula. So if you have a really strong Apocalypse, just keep him in your hand and Dracula is going to copy it. So he's basically going to be a 420. So that is really insane, but you do kind of have to give up Apocalypse. So that's also another thing. Uh, we have Colleen Wing in there, um, which lets you discard the lowest card in your hand. So for me, sometimes I like to discard Morbius because Morbius is going to get plus two out of this. And um, if there are more cards going to be, you know, done, he's going to rise in power and then you can later bring him back with Hela. So that is a nice combination as well. We have Zabu in here as well. So you can play Wong literally in turn three. So that's a little bit of an Exodia for you. We have Zabu, Wong turn three and turn four you could do something else you know play some other cards you can put in gambit in there you can do some crazy stuff with this you can also um you know use colleen wing to uh discard gambit which means uh right at the end he's going to be put onto the board uh with hella and he's going to discard maybe possibly apocalypse again so uh maybe your dracula is going to get triggered through that you you never know the, the, this you know hella decks in general are very very chaos it's a very chaotic um, it's a very chaotic deck, which means you will also, you know, kind of sometimes just go by RNG. A lot of luck is involved with this deck as well, but it's been tons of fun. That's the thing. Uh, like I said, Hella decks, when they work, they're really good. They're really great. But if they don't, then obviously can use, uh, you can lose a lot of eight cubers because I have, I've done that. I've, I, I thought I was so sure that I could win this round and then I lost eight cubers twice actually this morning just because I'm so, you know, focused on snapping and stuff. But this is definitely not the deck where you constantly want to snap on 
which is insane. So you, you just kind of have to have a little bit more of a uh, chilled and more fun approach playstyle with Hella. But this is a good deck. This is a fun deck to uh, to play. You can do some exchanges in here as well. You can bring in, uh, you know, Swarm for the Colleen Wing discard or something. You can exchange a few things if you don't have Zabu. It's not a not a big problem. You can still play Wong on turn four, or you can exchange Zabu with a different uh, ramp up uh, thing like Psylocke. You know, th these things are possible. So. Um, yeah, but obviously Zabu, you know, these cards benefit much more from this because Ghost Rider, Wong and Dracula are gonna get put down by one uh, energy. So, of course, Zabu is the better choice. But if you don't have him, you can literally uh, go with a Psylocke, for example. So you can still ramp up to uh, turn three Wong, you know, so that is all very much possible so we're gonna get into the games right now if you enjoy this deck please make sure to like uh, this video write a comment super important man I, I read through every single comments out there just have some fun with this deck and uh, enjoy this uh, gameplay so let's get right to all it. all right I forgot to press record first game of the day uh, looks pretty good actually no it doesn't it looks pretty bad I hope that I'm gonna get Zabu otherwise uh, it's gonna look pretty bad this round for me maybe i don't know we'll see we do have hella though uh we have wangers we have dracula so we have to kind of be careful what kind of playstyle we're gonna go for here so probably gonna go with some discards but um what is the lowest card that i have are they all four cost cards oh my god i'm gonna risk it i just don't hope it's gonna be wong i hope it's gonna be dracula yes that's good that's good i'm gonna take dracula because he's gonna go on the board right um i'm gonna go in with zabu as well Although that does not really do that much for me right now, but I can at least bring them down at least one cost. We do have death. We both have destroyer de uh, discard decks. That's interesting. So what am I going to do? What it is? What a dead? Mm, oh my god. Yeah, I can't even do the gambit thing because it's going to destroy my Hella. So I'm just going to go with Ghost Rider and bring something back. Wait, is that on reveal? It is. So, okay. That's pretty interesting. So let's try this. I'm, I have an idea. So I'm going to bring in Wong and I'm going to play Gambit and discard Hella with it, I guess. I don't even know yet, but it's going to be turn five, right? So I'm going to bring in. Uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see if this works. I don't know if this is going to work. I have no idea if this is going to work. Uh, That. Oh, wait. So, yeah, one card is going to get downed. I just don't hope it's going to be... I hope it's going to be Hella, to be honest. I hope it's going to be Hella, because then I can play Gambit and Ghost Rider. Well, okay, so that didn't work. I guess, fine. Take it, I'll take it. But we'll, we'll get him back onto the board anyways. So, uh, yeah, I guess Hella is going to go on to it. Is she on reveal? Is that going to happen twice with Mong? I don't even know. Like, it can't even work, because she's already bringing in every card that's got destroyed, right? If I bring it... Oh, okay, so that doesn't work either. Okay, so that's going to be discarded, and we should win this, right? Dracula is going to get the power, and boom. Yeah. I still I, I still need to figure things out with this deck, right? I still need to figure things out with this deck, because I thought that when Hela is going to bring back Ghost Rider, maybe his unreveal uh, effect would happen or something like that. I don't know. Do they, do they actually... I think they happen, right? Because you can see that Dracula worked. And then we have to see... It just didn't work with Ghost Rider, because Hela was already bringing back all of the cards, right? That's why Ghost Rider didn't trigger his unreal effect. <laughs> that makes sense but as you can see this worked out pretty great um but yeah i think wong and hella is stupid because it just doesn't make any sense so next time i'm gonna go for another technique but it's fun <laughs> four cubes back in the house i mean what i really um learned about this deck is you gotta be really careful because it works and it doesn't work you know this is hella this is hella that's the thing it sometimes works, it sometimes doesn't. Uh, you can't play a first card, each blah, blah, blah. Okay, whatever. Uh, that's actually pretty good for us. Why would you play Beast now? That's not so smart. Um, the good thing about this is, is Morag, um, if Hella is going to work now. Wait, this is the highest card that he's So I'm going to go with this. After you play a card here, destroy it. Can, does she bring destroyed cards back? No, just discard it, right? Okay, so let's do Swordmaster and hope that Hella is not going to get wrecked. Because if she is, I got to do some magic here. And it's going to be Lady Ziff. Hmm, that's not too good, right? I'm going to go with Colleen Wing. So, yeah. Oh, wait. I can actually give myself that. Hmm. 
All right, let's just bring Wongers into the game. Whatever. Can I bring uh, Quinjet? You mm, sacrifice Quinjet. Okay, Lady Sif is gonna destroy. Oh, Iron Man. I guess it's also a Hella deck. <laughs> uh, the good thing is, this one, Colleen Wing now is going to. Um, oh wait, that's bad. That's not a smart idea. Colleen Wing now is going to discard these one of these two of these three cards, which is smart, right? So I can uh, bring back Hella. But I don't know where I'm going to bring her back. Probably on Fisk Tower, right? But let's see first. Because, yeah, you kind of have to, like, use your brain once in a while with this deck. So, Gambit is gone. Dracula is going to be gone. So, they're both going to be put on board, right? And then we have that. Yeah, that's all I can do, right? And all of these other ones are not... For example, I'm lucky that I might actually get it on Altar of Death. Get a few cards on there. And Morag as well. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what's happening. Right? Yeah, sadly I can't... Uh, sadly, Morbius is not on the board. It would have been more power, but Hela is just such a key card now. Okay, so that's gonna get discarded. Interesting. Okay, Gambit is on it, so we won that one. And we destroyed some stuff here as well. But I don't have a card now. Oh, it's bringing back Morbius. Wow, what a combination. What a combination, guys. Oh, that was a beautiful combination. Holy smokes, that was beautiful. Sadly, Dracula didn't get procced, but yeah, that was kind of, you know, kind of foreseeable, right? Probably made a mistake there, but Morbius, oh my god. That was interesting, like, like the chain that go afterwards is just insane. So this deck, if you know, like, I didn't even know it could go this far. Like, I don't know, like, the, the post-process of this deck. Like, once you played all the cards, once Hellab is bringing back people, you know, the, the the deck continues to work, right? So Lady Sif gets on it, discards another card or whatever. A Ghost Rider's gonna get on board and then he's gonna draw back Morbius because he got post-destroyed with Lady Sif or whatever. And then Gambit just destroys another card. So this is this works. This works. Honestly, just imagine I would have discarded Wong or something. And then it would be, get pulled back by Hela onto the board. And then Gambit is going to get pulled right after it. And then it's going to destroy twice, which is going to discard two more cards. All right. It's pretty cool. That was a pretty cool, you know, I like it. I like it. So what do you guys think of this deck? I think it's awesome. Um, I've played four games and I lost two and I won two. But the ones that I lost was kind of my own mistake because I just wanted to try a few things out. I just wanted to see, does this work? Does this not work? And then I thought like, all right, maybe it's not gonna be useful bringing this into the video because I was just trying things out. If you guys want to see the losses as well, sometimes, because sometimes I do bring them in, right? It's not like that I only show you guys the wins, but I definitely show you the stuff that is going to work with uh, with the deck instead of the stuff that um, I, where I make mistakes mistakes but maybe that's interesting for you guys as well so if you want to see that uh, kind of stuff you can tell me in the comments and i'll make it sure and i'll make sure that i also post some losing uh, games into the thingy uh yeah anyways thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace out